Hello my friends, uh, from our last video, we are making this check box feature but even though we click any of the things, actually we cannot click anyone so the reason is that we didn't make this check part so if we just uh, put the force in here and come back in here, nothing is checked but if we just type the tr uh, true like this, so everything is clicked so in here, if this one is the true, this means it's clicked, or this one is for, this one is the not clicked. So to make this right, we are going to bring this checked state first in here, and then index of, and this value and id. If this one is minus one, that means this one is not clicked because it cannot this value id cannot find this index so that's why it is just a force but if it is not this minus one that means we already have this value id inside this checked state so it needs to be the true so save it and come back to our application so in here i'm going to just click anything so it's checked check 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 so this check the information we send into our parent component by using this props handle handle filter props so come back to our landing page in here we just uh, get all of the check the information in here so and then we put this one inside here as a parameter so we will do console law for this filter to see what is going on so now in here I'm going to check something so you can see 7 or 7 6 like this whenever we click something uh, this uh, values ID will go inside this array which is this uh, filter parameter so by using this information we will make this handle filter function we need to Put this filter, uh, this filter information, uh, inside the state, uh, in the landing page. So we are going to make the state first. This one name is the filters. So initial state will be a uh, kind of different from other one. This one will be object, and inside this object we will have two filter continent. This one is the array because you see this one is array. That's why it this continents also needs to be array. So and we also have one more filter, uh, which is the price. So the pr price filter will be come inside this one. So by using this filter state, uh, in here, we are going to make the new filter. like this and then new filters and the category category will be this continents or this price but we put these categories in here so this one comes from this one so the category will be this continent so like this and it will be the filters so this one will be new filter and continents will be this one like this this is what we are doing delete this one and uh, if uh, the category is the price so we are going to make it later so we need to do something more for this price category but we will do it later we need to change the filter state uh, with this one with this new filter in here and there is one more a function we need to make that name will be show filter wizards and we put this new filters in here and we need to make this function in here const and inside in here we put this new filter 
So filter. Uh, we need to. Uh, so when we get all of the product list in here, uh, we always trigger this uh, get product function. So we need to uh, trigger this get product function again inside in here. So after having this filter, so we are going to uh, trigger the get products function again with this filter. So when we trigger this get products, so we always put more this uh, variables. So even this time we need to bring this variable in here. We need to put this variable in here. But if we just uh, click any of the, this one, we need to refresh all the page and the skip will be just zero. Even though we already clicked this load more, if we click this uh, checkbox, we need to start from the zero. So this skip needs to be the zero and the limit will be the same as this one, A. And then we need more property to put in here. That is the filters. This one can come from this filter. So this is all the property we need to have for these variables. So after that, we need to change this skip set skip will be zero. Uh, after that, we also need to change this uh, get products API by going to product loud. Uh, in here, we need to change because we have more condition to filter. So that will be let find arc. So first, I'm going to type everything and I will just uh, explain it later. Key in request body and filters. These filters come from this filter. This filter come from this one, new filter. So if request body filter key and length is the bigger than zero. So if the key is price we would we would need to do something but else find args key request body and filter and key and we need to put this find args inside in here so first i'm going to to console log and request body filter and like this and in here I will just click anything and I will see this console that happened inside the server so this request body filter is the continent for and price is empty array so if I click one more so 4351 and then price is empty. So in here, I'm going to this key, print out this dead key. So I will click anything like this. So that key is this uh, continent and then price. So we keep going in here. We will do like that. Just uh, click, click, and come back in here. So now, find R key. So this means the find R and continent is this one. And lastly, we will just console log, find args in here. And just delete it, click this one, and this one, and come back in here. So find args is this one. So we put this filter inside in here. So we will try it. 
uh, there there is some problems so if we click this one we add more products uh, into the exist product whenever we just uh, trigger this get product function so we just uh, keep adding everything here but we need to do this only when we click this load more button so we need to get some condition in here uh, inside the load more button I will just type load more and true and then and this variable and load more true uh, we put this one else set product will be just response data product so we are not going to add new product inside the exist product so we can do it like this so now we are going to click the filter again asia ah the reason why we have like this is uh, in here we just uh, did a hard hard coding in here but it was not it doesn't have to be like this we need to put this find arg inside in here so now we come back to our application and refresh it so now we are going to click some north america or south america and asia so it works really fine right so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next session thank you